At a recent trade show, we were asked if we could take some of the laminated strips that we've used for other projects, such as our feature strips in some of the bowls we made, and also in our Disney Bowl uh, patterns that we've made. But instead of using these straight, with, the, with the, all the strips uh, vertical, cutting at a slight angle to get some different type pattern, such as this. And then repeating that on the opposite side to have a square board that you could use for pen making. And this would create some unique and different patterns for making uh, pens. The production of these angled cuts from a laminated strip can easily accomplish using the AccuSlice system with my L bracket carriage and this custom modified uh, offset cam fence that I produced in a previous video. This offset cam fence enables the laminated strip to be clamped to the board for quick and easy removal. Notice I don't have to glue it to the strip or use double sided tape. It makes an easy quick on off of the board. I modified the fence slightly to give me an angle and to do this what I've done is I go from a zero spacing on this edge of my fence to a three quarter inch spacing on this edge of the fence and that gives me an angle of a little over five degrees and that'll give me my angle cut when I run this strip through the bandsaw. Okay, I attach my board to my fence using my two screws on the bottom against the board and this offset cam to lock it in place. And if you notice, I also attach this piece of scrap MDF on the board that uh, enables me to cut the entire piece of wood and not waste anything. So I set my angle and using my laser beam as a guide. I'm cutting through, you know, probably six or seven layers here. Uh, so we'll run this through the bandsaw and see what uh, kind of pattern we can get off this laminated strip. So I knew to move the board over now to get the second cut, to get the uh, entire piece of wood off. Again, my laser beam is a nice handy tool to see exactly where I'm cutting. So let me go and finish this cut. So that's my finished board coming off the bandsaw. You see the sides are parallel now to one another. So instead of having you know straight pieces like I had on this previous board, now I have angled pieces with faces like this. Now this piece is a little bit thin for making a pen. It should have been a little bit thicker, but that's a piece of scrap wood I had, a laminated strip. But you can see how this could easily be done on the bandsaw using this offset fence. So let's go ahead and try another one. I right, have some more setup here we can give it a try. Here's our final piece cut off that board. Now this piece again was a little bit thin, 
but I do have a thicker piece which I'll, I'll run next. So this is my next piece which is a little over an inch thick, probably an inch and a half, almost an inch and a half thick, has a few more layers and I, I'm actually going to increase the angle even more on the fence to give me a little bit steeper angle since it's a much bigger board. So this piece will definitely be big enough to make a pen out of. Yeah, I increased the angle of the fence a little bit, maybe uh, another degree or so. So it gives me just a slightly more tapered cut. Probably around six or seven degrees. And it cuts, I just want to cut into this bottom purple layer here. Okay, so we'll get that a try. Everything in place, and this board will be de definitely thick enough to get a pen out of, or a pen blank. Yeah, that produced our final strip, which is now has parallel sides and has these unique patterns rather than being straight and vertical. Okay, I went ahead and cut this board in half and then I turned half of it in the lathe to just see the pattern that I would get. And I can see this would come out much better if the layers were thinner, a thicker board, and at a slightly increased angle, even more than this angle, I think it would actually look nicer. But it's something I can play with in the future. So I produced a number of pieces here showing the possibilities of, of doing this. Obviously, I need to make a laminate strip with thinner strips so I get more details in them. Uh, this one's a little bit nicer since it has more thinner layers. Uh, but, you know, you can produce boards that have parallel sides but have these angled pieces. And this will make a nice, you know, block for doing a, a pen or some other object. So I've just shown the possibilities of using the AccuSlice system with this offset carriage to cut angles on boards especially laminated boards.